hello guys welcome back to my channel i greet you according to your time and according to the time you are seeing this video how are you doing i hope you are good we are still on the gist from the palace of only of if uh, my correct correct people how now they also now they fine no thank you so much for being part of my channel thank you for your support thank you for everything my god will bless you please if you are yet to subscribe to this channel please subscribe and if you are a returning subscriber thank you and god bless you so allegedly we heard that oh lori okay <laughs> she don't commit another one sure the thing was she commit this time around it did too much as we don't hear said there is this um serpent that be they call it neck that have been visiting her <laughs> it have been only how only how i seen the thing the how the thing started was we heard that she was in her room sleeping in the night and the, it seemed that something as if something tapped her and she woke up only for her to see or his neck just staying like uh, saying somehow and be staring at her and she was like hey what is happening she started running you know that kind of fear now she was running and running and running this they, they said that when she ran out and started calling people people came and found out that it was only her that was seeing the thing they were asking her where is the sex snake now she said that it's there look at it there only for these people to know that this is something after her and it is because of what she have done so they now say that it was because of uh, all the warning that have been coming to her and she have been ignoring all of them that is why she's seen this snake and the snake is um is yami osoronga that is using snake to go and visit her so my color people know as if that was not enough oh, she thought that the thing would just stop until the thing continued Sure, that snake of a thing continued that it was too much on her that she ran to to her family house only for her to say, uh -huh, let me know that it will come here. <laughs> the next thing you see, they said that the things also came there and she was frightened, like very, very afraid that she's no longer comfortable anyway. And it's possible that she might stay in a stage. Hmm. She might be in a stage where she will be doing maybe one kind um uh, you know all these conferences and all this representation that KBS used to send them. She might stay somewhere and be doing presentation that the team will come. So they said that her family members started, all these her uncles now, they started going to KBS to beg KBS to please talk to Yami Osoronga to stop uh, all of this because they believe that it was Yami Osoronga that is doing all of that. So they said that when she came to the palace and told KBS, KBS was like, you declared a war uh, against me, and the Yami Osoronga declared a war against you. So now you want me to go and to go and beg Yami Osoronga to stop fighting you while you are busy fighting me, Abi? You're not serious. And we heard that Yami Osoronga said that it is only when she confessed that she, she will stop seeing this happen. Okay, I see that was not enough. Oh. She doesn't want to confess. That is the thing. She doesn't want to confess. KBSC told her to go. In short, KBSC is a good-hearted man. We heard that KBSC went to. Yami Osoronga to know exactly what she did that she need to confess and Yami Osoronga said that it is only her that is supposed to confess that if she doesn't confess she will continue to be seeing that that uh, snake that she must confess before she will be free so my correct people as we hear them oh, allegedly oh, don't forget that no me talk I'm not here I hear them as if that was not enough for oh. hmm you see auntie, auntie blue blue her, she, I don't know where she don't put her hand there. It didn't too much. Don't forget that time they said that KBSC called uh, some... This Is it if I praise them? There is this native doctor, Sabi, if I praise they called. They said that he called in the palace. And they came to the palace. When they were walking, they said that, Oh, God, all the, the thing that these people have done in this palace is too much. That in short, they need cleansing. And they, were, they sent for them to, go, to come to the palace for cleansing. And they... The person that was sent to go and fetch them did not see them. Make when they hear tomorrow they go talk say na kunomi they do them. Tomorrow they go talk say na kunomi use juju to catch to hold kabio kabi esi. Them their their hands are clean. Okay, as we talk about what uh, she's supposed to confess, she never confessed that one. We are talking about the head of a cow they buried in the pala in Yeyolua quarter that they called. Uh, Olori Igbe. Her own is that Auntie Blue Blue must know about it. So, again, we come to hear say a man 
from nowhere. One old man like that came to the palace and they was looking for Auntie Blue Blue. And they told her that Auntie Blue Blue is not staying in the palace again. And, she, and the man dropped a message and said that Auntie Blue Blue should go and uh, uproot that thing, that Kunomi's clothes that she buried in the palace. That she should uproot, that she should go and remove it where she buried it. That she knows exactly where she buried that clothes, Kunomi's clothes in the palace that she buried, that she should go and uproot it. If not, what she's going to see, she will not like it. That this one she the sixth neck now. The next thing where she go see, hey, her heart no go feel carry him. Me, I was like, they are still talking about uh, she should go and confess, of which we don't we don't know what she did. That she need to confess. Is it that clothes that they say that she should go and confess? I don't know. This one come come up again. That she should go and um, uh, remove the clothes, Kunomi's clothes that she buried in the palace. That she said something and she knows what she said before she buried it. That that Kunomi's clothes, they said that she said that Kunomi will never come back to the palace. That Kunomi and Kabiyesi will never be together again. That Kabiyesi is her husband. That she and Kabiyesi is meant to be in this throne, not, Kab not Queen Naomi. That nothing will bring Kunomi back to this palace. That anytime Kunomi wants to come back, something must happen and she will not come back. So in this, now this madman now came and said that she should go and remove it or else. That's something that will happen to her. The, the kind of punishment that she will receive is still doing press up. When you go finish doing press up and come to fight her, this is what she did run about everywhere. She did run around back and front everywhere because of she's seen snake. That snake is a small thing for the one which she could see again. My correct people, now I take care of I was like this woman, what do you me do now? What do Mama Tadenika will do now? Uh uh. I'm going to leave this woman alone and make she rest. Is it bad that God destined her to be a queen? You too, as you the talk, say you be blue blooded. You are from royal. You are royalty. Eh, we know that you are royalty. Allow Kunomi to, uh, to do her work of queen now. You that is in the palace, nobody is even saying anything good about you, except that time you were pretending because initially when she came in newly, Tabi did not know that this woman have evil agenda against him. All we used to hear is that uh, she buy kekena pepper, she dash people of Ile Ife kekena pepper, uh, she dash them this, she buy a motorcycle, she did do one, she did the other one. Not knowing that she had been, in short, Kabi Esi thought that she, she was with him. Not until this one happened, the time she started using fake pre pregnancy. And that her fake pregnancy opened her nash, everybody can see within the inside, nobody. We are thinking that it's the only nash, that the only shit that they inside. <laughs> you know, say something way past shit also they inside. Now, since then, she decided to unveil her real character, and we are seeing it. So, may she leave Kunomi alone. If you know that thing that she buried inside the palace, may she go and operate it too, because God would arise to fight her if she continued to fight Mama Tadenika. Anyway, I just saw this one. I feel like let me share with you. Please don't forget that they are all alleged. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and give my video a thumbs up. Love you guys. Bye.